Hello everyone, welcome to What's in the Bag with my pal here, Mr. Peter Hurley. What's happening? I am here at Photoshop World <laughs> with you and I, I, this is, this is, I get to see you. This is what's happening. I know, that it's is cool. I love it. Well, and we've got something that's just, this is total geek talk. I mean, yesterday we were on the podcast, but today we're talking about gear. I love talking about gear. You like gear? I love gear. Okay. I'm a gear junkie. I have issues with gear. You do? I so have you're issues. Kind of I've always geek. had issues with gear. Yes, I would say that. You're a geek. Okay. I'd say there's two things I spend money on. Okay. Well, besides my kids and That's my good. wife and family and stuff. Yes. Two hobbies. Well, well photography is not really a hobby. So I, I race sailboats. And I spend money on photography gear, really? and that's it. So I spend money on sailing and, and photography gear, and that is it. Really? Okay. And on occasion, I'll buy myself some some sort of new article of clothing. But other than that, photography gear beats it. Once every year, you get yeah, some new clothes. That's it. So you have your go-to gear. And you actually have your, your own line of gear, yeah. which is very interesting that we're talking about this. Yeah. But let's first go with your go-to. You've got a camera body. You've got a lens. You've got a portrait that you have to take, what does Peter choose? I'm picking up a phase one IQ 250, which I started shooting, um, I think I started shooting it in like May. Wow. And I'm loving it. What was before? Before one? that I was shooting Hasselblad. Okay. For years. I shot Hasselblad from 2004 till uh, I got the phase in my hand and I switched because I wanted the higher ISO. Yeah. And it changed my photography completely. I'm so psyched. Did it really? And yeah, so I. Um, so it's I, actually good now. I actually yes, at <laughs> 6400 totally ISO, I, I shot a I shot a kids catalog at wow. 6400 ISO with natural north light in my studio coming wow. in the windows, and I could not believe it. I was like on cloud nine. Oh, so I amazing. am all about it. I'm cool. all about it. Cool. Yeah. So you've got your phase one. What about lenses? I mean, are you a, a prime lens guy? Yeah, I'm a total prime lens are guy. You? I get really confused with any zooming abilities. So um, I bar. They have this monster lens, this forty to eighty millimeter mm -hmm. that I did a job with, and it was so convenient and nice. But the thing is, it's like it's like massive, and my brain doesn't work quickly enough for yeah. me to figure out where to zoom, where's the right, right spot. So I just like fixed lenses. I mean, the right. thing was really convenient because I was shooting a product catalog for human scale and I was like, I was like, oh, I don't have to move. I can just zoom. Oh, that worked. <laughs> this is cool. This is like new. <laughs> so I might venture down that road, but for me, it's all prime. And I predominantly have my portrait lens um, on. I shoot, I would say I shoot more headshots than anything I shoot because I'm, uh, predominantly a headshot photographer, but I shoot anything that comes my way, like the kids catalog or the yeah. human scale stuff or mm -hmm. whatever. Um, but sitting on my camera, rarely ever coming off is the 110 millimeter lens really? for the phase. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 110? And I like Why it and it's a leaf shot. Um, I like, there's a, for me, it's, there's a distance thing when I'm photographing people. Like if I was sitting here with you and I wanted to take a headshot, the one I feel like I'm too close and too intrusive to have yeah. a camera in your face. Yeah. So I, I want to be back, back a little further, but I don't want to be like I don't want to be like over here yelling at you. Yeah. I want to be like a safe distance. So I usually pick the lens that plops me in a prime lens that plops me in an area, and I get a little bit of compression. I think if you're too wide, you can get big looking shoulders yeah. and headshots and stuff yeah. like that. So the 110 does it. Interesting. Because yeah. usually when I think of prime. Everyone goes for the 50 or the 35 or the 85, but 110, okay. Yeah. I'm usually jumping, I would say, well, with the Hasselblad, I just started with face, so I'm figuring it all out sure. as I go. I have an 80 that I use a lot, but I really always used to like the 50. So I would go 120 macro on the Hasselblad with the 50, and those were my two that I used most of the time. Okay. Um, and now I'm building my kit out for the face. Interesting. Well, not everyone can afford everything that Peter has in his bag. So definitely check out lensrentals.com and put some, you know, add some things to your arsenal and check these things out. You can try before you buy. But in the meantime, I would definitely follow Peter on all of the social media that he's involved with. He does a lot of things on Spreecast. Uh, you, you do, you're very heavily involved with Twitter and Facebook. So definitely check out peterhurley.com and everything that he's involved with. Peter, thank you so much. Thank you, can I say one more thing? Sure. Guys. Whatever you do, have backup, backup. You gotta have 
multiple bodies, multiple lenses. I was out doing a job in LA once and I had, I had my body, I had two bodies and two backs. They both went down. Oh, and then I had my assistant FedEx me one and that went down and then I had to go rent one. Oh, so geez. now I don't leave, I, on a big job, I usually have three bodies um, and a bunch of, and, and I use different cameras. Like, it's like, hey, if one goes down, the client, I'll be like shooting the phase, and if the phase happens to go down, it never has yet. Where's the wood? Um, <laughs> um, then but it's good to have that I've got the Canon, and then yeah. if the Canon goes down, I could go to whatever else I have in my bag, which sometimes I have the X100, so I might go to that, or I might go to, you know, the. Ha I actually still have my some Hasselblad gear, so I, have a, I always take my phase with the Hasselblad with the Canon. So I've got three bases covered. So if you're doing a big job, guys, back up, back up, back up. Awesome. Great advice. PeterHurley.com. Boom. Thank you, Peter. Thank you.